Hello there, Sir from 17 once again. This is my Batman Arkham Origins New Game Plus video walkthrough. This is the Firefly boss. This is the easiest boss on the game. All you do is you wait for him to land. As he does, you double tap the right trigger to throw the jizz bomb at him. It will cover him in seminal fluid, and then you can proceed to mash the left trigger to fire batarangs at him. When you do this enough, it'll give you the prompt to hit him with the back claw, so do so, to pull him towards yourself. And then it'll move you to the next phase in the fight. There's a little bit of traversal that you have to do, and then you have to do this phase again. There's a little bit of evasions that you have to do, and then you have to do this again, and that's pretty much it. It's one of the more unique boss fights, and it's also very simple once you realise you can loop this guy effortlessly just by timing when you throw the, the grenades. So wait for him to land and then throw the jizz bomb just as he finishes you know his inertia once he gets settled if you do it too soon you'll miss if you do it too late he'll destroy it with his flame uh, there's definitely a timing to it but once you get it it's it's so easy and simple it makes this boss fight hilarious because you can't believe you're embarrassing him so much <laughs> but pull him down like the mechanical mosquito that he is so we can hit him with the proverbial fly swatter. But a really fun and interesting fight. I, I expected there to be a section where you beat him up on the ground or you fought him on the ground, but it never gets to that. It stays to this interesting idea. Um, my only issue with the boss is the section coming up here where it forces you to do these cinematic moments. Not only does the camera kind of get squirrely and it can sometimes not be too clear on where you're supposed to go, but at the most obvious part of where you're supposed to go, the camera gets so hand-holdy and signposty to show you where it wants you to go that you would literally have to be blind to miss it. I want you to bear in mind, guys, that this is the last third of the game, if not the last fourth of the game. And it's still holding your hand so much and terrified to, to let you go on your own. It seems baffling to me. Especially in a boss fight where you're meant to be punished to an extent. It's a boss fight. <laughs> but there you go, sliding under the 18-wheeler, the which is probably the most visible direction of all the directions on that section just then. It's much more visible than jumping across a chasm with a really tetchy jump. But as soon as you get back here, throw your jizz bomb at him, stick him up good, give him the old Japanese news anchor facial, and then you can proceed to hit him with some batarangs. And it's, it's literally repeat ad nauseum at this point. Keep hitting him. As soon as he recovers, you know, throw another one of the bombs at him and then pull him down. And, you know, it's such a simple fight, but it is fun. And you can make as many semen references and jokes as you want because that's essentially what the sticky custard of the glue gun, or the glue bomb, sorry, looks like, you know. But there you go. He's all glistening with liquid silk so we can keep on hitting him with batarangs and that's pretty much all she wrote folks so I'm just gonna keep on pulling him down some nice particle effects on his smoke big old uppercut <laughs> he's so silly like the guys literally had no chance to do anything you've got to love boss fights like this and then it does this sequence here which is kind of interesting he throws a bunch of bombs at you. He throws three bombs at a time. So I recommend you run around this area and just do kind of like a lap. If you notice that the three spots are in front of you, you can either turn around or you can try and navigate between them. As soon as you hit the checkpoint, it means he's going to try and do a bum rush at you. Uh, where he's, Sorry, not a bum rush. You have to bum rush at him, which is just press the, the grapple hook, and then it's going to go into this cutscene. And whenever this cutscene slows down for a second, it means you have to press Y. Don't press Y, you're going to get hit. Or you're going to get damaged. I'm not too sure if you can die, but my guess is probably. So just pay attention, and another boss beats the dust. Another assassin is taken off the list, and you're one step closer to beating Arkham Origins. Thank you for watching, and you take care now.